That's right, demand is up, supply is down, and mortgage rates at historic lows. Realtors say sellers can't keep homes on the market long enough to show them, squeezing out new home buyers. But tonight, the city is promising an ambitious plan to narrow the gap. This is the hottest I've ever seen it. New sellers and investors want in. I mean, especially with everything going on with the pandemic, um, just trying to buy a house as an investor, um, you're constantly getting bid, bid out. The for sale signs don't stay up for long. As I want to sell before the market takes a dive if it's going to. The lack of availability reflected in the city's latest inventory report. San Diego falling short of its 10-year housing goal. It planned for 88,096 new units. 37,054 were actually constructed. We're seeing new challenges now that we've never seen before. The city's planning department says San Diego simply isn't building enough housing. Part of the problem, program manager Brian Schoenfisch says, the region's complicated terrain. We have many different constraints on, on the east, west, north, and south. We have the border, the, the ocean, the mountains, and Camp Thomas into the north. But starting next year, the city says it'll begin a whole new phase of housing production. Working together with our residents and with our um, other stakeholders. From 2021 to 2029, the city hopes to build 108 new units, low to moderate income, as well as no subsidy market rate homes, focusing on what they call infill housing, properties near transit and job centers. For homes in which the city has to plan for to make sure we first have the capacity to build these. So what about the rest? Just take a look at the city's inventory map. It shows there is capacity to build thousands of possible sites all spread out. What we need to do is work towards the actual production angle now. Increasing supply over time until it matches demand. So it's all about timing. And a big component of all this, of course, housing reforms, making sure the city has the measures in place to build. It's an ongoing story, and we'll keep following it right here on News 8.